Yo, 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 everybody. Generic B here, and I am once again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'm on the Minecraft Feed the Bee server. And I've done it. Oh, I have done it this time. Um, and you gotta forgive the cat meowing in the background. You know how it goes. Uh, yeah, so. There's been a new version of the Feed the Beast, the Minecraft uh, version of the Feed the Beast. New update. And it's done a lot of stuff, and I don't even know the details yet, because we just started getting into it. But there's been some changes I know. Um, I think they've gotten... I don't, I don't know all the thing about the rich slag. You know, they do some kind of pulverizing it with some platinum and it basically doubles it or something like that. I don't know. All that stuff that that just feels like like the vanilla way, like the like the easy way to do something. Well, apparently that got all nerfed and so now it's a lot harder to get iridium, which means now more than ever it is of the utmost importance that I get my bees all sorted up to start producing iridium, and I will be the hero, and the B team will, hey, what's that thing? Well, deer butt, <laughs> hey deer butt. <laughs> Beef, I'm touching your deer's butt through the wall. Now more than ever, I will be, the B team will be, securely positioned as the top players on the server, because, People will come from miles around with their hands open, their hats in their hands, begging for Iridium from Generic Bees, B-Team, Brand, <laughs> Combs, Iridium Combs. Um, but I'm going into the Nether for a reason, and this is why. <laughs> yep, I'm wearing this for protection because I done did something wrong. People have died. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Uh, he said that my stuff was in a chest somewhere. Oh, probably over. Okay, so first thing I gotta do is get this bee out of here. Come on, bee. Why are you not... This thing? This bee? Actually, hold on. And Let's see what's going on over here. And that... Oh, that one's missing some kind of flower. It needs nether. Well, that's... Can I just give you some of that? Oh, here, let me go get my... <laughs> let me go get my stuff. The, uh, the portals are all funky. Here we go. Huh? Hey, hey. There we go. Yeah, that's my jam. That's what I'm talking about. It looks like I got everything necessary. Except for that, I don't care about that. All right, we go back in. Um, whew. <laughs> All right, let's now let's take a look at these guys. If I do this, can I can I give it some? It says Nether. Is that considered a flower for you? Here, I'm gonna go like that. Yeah, oh cool. So that's good to know. If it says nether, it needs another rack. These guys um, are bad, bad, oh crap, bad news bears. Oh, this guy too. All right, get working. Huh, oh, so they don't need uh, the cactus anymore. That's interesting. Um, they are required as part of the, um, part of getting to the iridium bees. What you do is you breed uh, let me grab my notes here really quick, so I remember. Um, it's somewhere. Yeah, so uh, you breed like a, a modest or a tropical, so that's a jungle or a desert bee, with a cultivated bee, uh, but you have to do it in the nether, right? And so I was doing this for two hours uh, out, you know, out in my normal old place, and I wasn't getting anything, and I was blaming 1.5... Uh, the extra bees 1.5, I should say, uh, for not working. And apparently then I read, I was like, oops, I got to be in the nether. 
So it's kind of like rurals, I guess. Um, but then, so I get Sinisters. And then, let me look really quick. Is Sinisters all I need then to... Let me see my little... No. Now I gotta get to... Oh, now I have to take the Sinisters, right? And I have to mix them back in with a Modest to get a Frugal. And then a Frugal with a Modest again, I think, to get one called an Austere. And then it's Austere ones. If is this right? I just I don't want to tell you. Yep, Austere is then I can start going down the nuclear path. And Austere and a Rocky gets you an Unstable. An unstable with an iron gets you a nuclear, and then a nuclear with a gold gets you a radioactive. And I think I have to be radioactive before I get the iridium. I think. Um, we'll figure it out. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this because it. <laughs> I got in here. Hey, you're supposed to. Aren't you, Nether? Sometimes you gotta reset them, maybe. Oh no. What in the heck could that be? Hmm, very interesting. Okay, maybe... I mean, it would... Isn't nether enough? Fire? Do I have to set something on fire? No, surely not. It would tell me. No flowers. Bees need flowers. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'll run it through the bee... Uh... Oh, actually, I don't want to do that one. Let's go run this guy, because he's a purebred. We'll throw him in here. Do one of these jabbies. Get in here. Yeah, see this like aggression? So that's kind of like the end. <laughs> it kills you real fast. Uh, well, I'm in the nether. You stupid. Okay, so I must need something that is very nether-like. Hmm... Uh. I'll look around and see. I mean, maybe it's, uh... Maybe, ooh, look at you. Zombie pig man all dolled up. Uh, maybe it is soul sand, although I kind of doubt it. Maybe it's lava. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to keep on playing with it, but I thought you just would enjoy that. Uh, thank goodness, man, I built this stinking apiary suit because I would have been in bad news. And actually, Pyro, as soon as I died, I was like, don't go in the nether. And then he walks in the nether and he dies. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do a little more work on this stuff, and then I'm going to head back to the base and show you guys some very, very important changes to, uh, to the bees. It's stuff that if you're messing around with the bees, you really need to know about it. So, oh, crap, man. Get off me! Get off me! Oh. oh! Oh! Okay, I will be right back! Ho ho ho! Okay, so uh, I want I do want to show you the changes to the bee stuff, and I think that's very important, but um, I want to do something else first. Um, so <laughs> since these bees are such bad news, these uh sinister bees these hell bees right um which is funny because these aren't the bees that you find in the nether these are what did i do again a, a modest drone which is the ones you find in the desert with a uh with a cultivated uh and it makes these so i think that's really kind of funny i thought that there were nether bees um and there may still be i just haven't seen any you know what i'm saying um, but I've made our own little nether portal, so this is tied into the one that you saw. We put it down on the ground so you wouldn't, like, hear a bunch of racket. Uh, but if you go that way and hook a left, that takes us to the, uh, to the nether hub that Zisto's working on. And then over here, we just happen to be right next to part of another fortress. And so I decided to go ahead and make just a little thing. It's a little old thing. Here, let's... Blunk. Ta-da! I know it's tiny, but, you know, I just need, like, a little bit of something for some operations around here. This is, uh... These blocks are amazing. 
They are the amber blocks, and you make them with four amber. I am going to beg, borrow, and steal every bit of amber I see uh, in the game uh, because this is the perfect block for the BFO. I mean, oh, you know because how I used all the, um, all the glowstone and stuff? I kind of like this a little better than the glowstone, so for sure I want to grab some. Um, you make it... Oh, God, I know you guys are going to comment on what that search was. <laughs> um, it, what was it called? Uh, amber. Um, so there's the amber block. Then there's also amber bricks, which are made for amber blocks, but the texture pack is not updated yet. Um, B-Dubs is working on that. But it, it looks really good in vanilla, too. Uh, but that's what I got. And here we are going to put on our suit. Like, like. Just a little setup. Ah, the nether flower is nether wart. Of course. Duh. And now we've got this stuff so uh, I can sit there and take a sinister. And we'll grab another sinister. And that way they can be doing their thing. Get busy. Get busy, y'all. Mm -hmm. And while that's going, then I can also work on, let's see, I do have, I have one modest here, and I have a sinister, yep, we we'll use one of those guys, oh, hey, that does say cactus, hopefully, because I don't have any cactus on me, we'll see, we'll see what it takes. I have a feeling I may have to go grab a cactus on that. But, um, oh, oh, it's not a nocturnal. Oh, Pecker, we'll have to get it, get a nocturnal on it. Let's see, do I have another one that's, oh, no, apparently I can't do those. Ah, but I can try. No, nope. oh, the, yeah, that's the queen, so this one's not, oh, <laughs> sucker. Oh, that stinks. Uh, this modest princess will work. That's not bad. And then here's a Sinister Modest. Oh, let's put those two together. Sinister Modest. Okay, now I, I still think this one will want a Cactus. Yep, it's going to want a Cactus. And I don't have a Cactus off the top of my head. Off the top of my head. What am I thinking? What am I saying? <laughs> um, You know what? Let's go grab one. Here, I'm going to grab these guys. Is this... Yep, those four. That's good. And, yeah. So while these things are cooking, I know that I need... Oh, 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 hello. I know I need to get away before I put my jetpack on because those bees have the badness. They are some evil, evil bees. And they have a range on them of, like... Nine by nine or something like that. So if you get that far, that close to him, is like <coughs> dead. Uh, okay, so let's go up here. Grab ourselves the cactus. Because I think I've got some somewhere. Here we go. Cactus and some sand. Hello? Any sand in there? Nope. Why would there be sand in there? Because I'm generic B. And where else would I put sand? Uh, sandstone. Sand. Perfect. That's all we need. Um, okay, so I tell you what. I'm going to put those back and let those get cooking. And, uh, and then after a quick commercial break, we will talk about these, uh, these fancy machines. Because it's very important. Very important. I don't want you guys to do any more bee stuff until you see this. Alright? So I will be right back. Ho ho okay. So, that's all cooking down there in the nether. Now, I don't think the nether is loaded. So it's going to be one of those that I actually have to hang out down there while they're breeding. Which I don't mind too much. Uh, I'll probably figure something out to do while I'm there. But I wanted to show you some differences in these machines. Uh, the very, very first and most important one is this guy, this isolator. Um, you put in a bee, right? 
and then like let's say you know this is the sinister drone and we want to try to get the sinister trait out of it right um you sit there and you go let's put three in there just like I, I would normally do the isolator now has a chance to eat the bee when it's pulling stuff out of the serum so every time it creates a serum there's a chance that the bee will be destroyed which is boom yep see there it went and I got normal fertility that's terrible right this is they put it in place to uh, to balance the system a bit and part of me is a little upset about it but you know what I think it was a little overpowered before because once you did this oh yeah see I got one normal fertility come on give me something good um, before it was a little too easy to just get the right uh, fertility out of it um, or get the right trait out of it using this system and then just pump it into any bee you want. So it kind of, yeah, so you know humidity. Dang, I put one more in there. Um, it was just, it, it almost eliminated the need to do a bunch of breeding, right? Um, because if as long as you just got one, man, you could throw that in here, dump a bunch of empty serum vials in there, and you would get your trait out. Now it's like, hey, you got to watch out because you got to actually spend bees on this. Aha, sinister species. Okay, so we lucked out. It only took us three bees. Now, so what you do, what this really means is you kind of want to have at least one pair of purebreds through breeding and then have those guys breed and then the drones that you get from it, you use those in this isolator. So you have some extra bees to, to pull the traits out of. You for sure don't want to use your princess in there because it is way too uh, too precious of a, to have a princess and waste it on that. Um, the second part of this, so we've, uh, you know, we've done this type of thing before, Let's, you know, where we filled this up. And I told you before that the inoculator um, seemed to not really care about the quality of the serum. Well, boy, buddy, boy, 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 has that changed. Um, because I stuck in, I had like a, what was it? Like a rusty, I think I was trying to breed rusty and tin to see if that would give me anything. And I gave it an awful quality. And I just grabbed a few, I think they were marbled, uh, marbled princesses. And I converted them all over. And I just happened to look at them. And I said... Where's my bee analyzer? That's what I said. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I happened to look at one of these things, and I was like, okay, let's check this out. And I put it in. Now, you see here where it says effect is aggressive, aggressive. Well, I put in a modest, and the modest, what initially said none, when I ran it through that system and changed it from a modest over to a um, to a rusty or or tarnished or whatever it was I was using, it changed the effects. One of them got lightning, one of them got poison, and one of them got zombies and creepers as an effect. So it's my theory that if you use a low grade uh, a low grade serum on this thing it's got a chance of corrupting your bees and making them really crappy. So the solution for that is then you will take your your uh, species, like did I not just fill one up somewhere? Yeah, so like take this both temp two. You pretty much have to put it in a purifier at this point. Um, and the purifier will run through, it takes a bunch of DNA to do it. Um, and you wanna get it to a better quality. I don't know what the limit is. Uh, I've been just running them until they go to excellent uh, because excellent uh, seems to have a better, um, like, a, you know, a great chance of doing exactly what you want it to do. Now, here's what's funny, though, as I run this through. Oh, they've, they have fixed this, though. This uses so much less DNA than what it did because before... 
after it would run through one time, like this thing went shunk all the way down. And now it just goes down a little bit. Oh, we're brilliant on that. Oh, so that's good. I don't mind that so much. Got to purify it. Fine by me. Uh, and then here's the one that I really uh, also am not a big fan of. But there's a, oh, <laughs> I'm so glad I remembered. There's a really positive part of this as well. Um, so before, it would give you different, uh, it would give you ideas of how to get to the next level of your of your mutations. So a good example is like let's say if I go to resilient. So this here would tell you here's how you get to resilient. You know it's a stone and a hardy, 15% chance gives you resilient. So that's good, right? Um, and then they had these future ones. That would show you, well, you know, resilient and cultivated will give you rusty. Resilient and cultivated might give you a corroded. And so that would, that would work great. You know, it would show you the ones that you've already done. But then there were a couple that would say, uh, but here's one that you don't know what it is yet. But it gave you the color of, of the thing, right? Now it's just like, it's a discovered species, but it's, doesn't tell you what what colors you have no indicator whatsoever and then and then it says yep discovered and discovered will give you an undiscovered and it's like okay so i know one of them is resilient but what in the heck's the other one right and that one i think there's got to be because this is so random and because it's so difficult to mutate it was kind of nice i don't feel that this is that this is cheaty to have a little bit of a color indicator. Um, I mean, you, you spend resources building this machine, and I don't even remember it. Like, what is this thing called? Oops. <laughs> oh, poor Pyro. I think it's a data bank or something. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not completely, uh, you know, cheap machine. It does take some resources. You are spending all this time breeding and stuff. It's like, come on, give a brother a break. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's my only kind of gripe about that. But this one, you guys are going to love this. This is the funniest thing. Look at that. Oh my God. Something happened. House on fire. House on fire. Generic B panicked apiarist. Yeah, Benny put it in there. Oh, off of uh, one of my episodes where we almost set this whole place on fire. Uh, so it's really, really funny. Now, Benny, if you're watching this, my friend, there's an emerald, and there's no pres no prescription. There's no prescription divided. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, since we are the B team and we're making emeralds, see, this is my first, this is a legit emerald that I made, emerald B that I made. And a legit emerald from the bees. That's my very first bee-created emerald. I swapped it out because before it was just one I got from the villagers. That's this is mm, this is what we're here for, baby. This is why we do what we do, as B Dubs would say. Um. Now, just for to end this episode, as you know, we've been having crazy, crazy amounts of lag. Let me make sure my jetpack's good. Yeah. Um, ridiculous amounts, and because we're sharing the same server as Minecraft, we've been getting ridiculous amounts of lag on Minecraft. And you know, we've talked about it. We're like, dude, do we need to all chip in and get a faster server? And Gude's like, no, man, I've like this thing's decked out to the hilt, and I believe it. Knowing Gude, Gude is not one to cut corners, man. He goes all out on stuff. Um. And so finally, he you know he started digging into it and saw that there was a ton of, I'm getting some loading issues, um, that there was a ton of uh, errors being thrown in an error log, and it was all about water pumps and recyclers, and we're like, who in the heck's got water pumps and recyclers? And no one seemed to be perking up, and so he, he uh, 
he gave it to CWW, who is one of the guys who uh, helps put together all of the Feed the Beast mod pack, you know, makes all the, all the mods work together. And he took the world download and he, uh, he ran a scan for water pumps, Arcus Corp, <laughs> for water pumps and recyclers. And here's what we found. Look at this hellhole. Right? I mean, look at this thing. Arcus comes over and he's like, oh, I'm just going to make a little something over here. Don't worry about me. It's just a little mining operation. <laughs> just a little mining operation. Don't worry about it. Look at this. Look. Look at this. And then if you fly over here. Now, I don't know all of the all of the deal with this, and, and Good has actually removed, uh, Good actually removed the things that were causing the issues, but apparently there was a, uh, a water pump that does something, pumps water into these water mills, which then were powering a recycler, and then they were, he was using the, the recycled, like the scrap, from the recycler to maybe throw them in some, some, sorry, some generators or something. Oh, and here, look, good. <laughs> Arcus, there's a bug with recyclers and pumps at the moment. Had to remove them to save the server. Good. They say it will be fixed. Next patch. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. I like how he did that. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're, that's what we're dealing with. So this was the problem. And now... Everything's peachy. Everything's peachy. And, oh, I like that. I have to look and see what that is. It's beautiful. What is that? I gotta, here, I'm gonna take one off. What, what are you? Block of dark iron. Oh, so pretty. You so pretty, dark iron. I wonder how you get dark iron, man. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, yeah, look at this guy, man. All sorted out. And this ain't nothing. He's got just piles and piles and piles of, uh, of, of barrels over there with all sorts of stuff in it. So, yeah, shut this down, and the server is running like a dream. I mean, for, for being a bunch of, you know, mods kind of, you know, kludge together because, you know, these things aren't designed to be working together, but, you know, Slowpoke and CWW and, and all the people who are working on this uh, mod pack uh, to get it running efficiently, you know, big shout out to those guys and big shout out to the people who, um, who are actually, can I get out of here? Uh, shout out to the people who make each individual mods, especially, especially Benny and uh, I believe his name is Sengir for the um, for the forestry stuff. I love it. I love the bees. I love the bees. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got time for today. I think this. I think this rendering thing is actually. Uh, I think it's an Optifine thing. I gotta. Uh, I gotta look into it. Um, but. That's all I got for today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Helps me out a ton. Love you guys. Until next time, take care. Brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.